Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to show you a fantastic demonstration of how my brand new auto, man, I'm, I'm, I'm torn on what to call it. It's far more like a clear coat than it is like a traditional coating. Uh, it does have some ceramic in it, but it's it's more of a clear coat than a coating, but it can be used just like a coating or just like a clear coat. That's a cool thing. So even though my current coatings are hybrids of several different technologies, this is a hybrid in the sense that it's a clear coat and it's a coating kind of thing. So check this out. All right, so this is my ADL Camino. Many of you know that car this is like the mascot to detail juice i've had this thing for almost nine years i love her um but over the nine years it's been beat up and battered it's been in and out of shops you can tell how hazy the paint is i literally i polished this probably a year after i got it back from the paint shop and um i haven't polished it since i mean it needs some work um i was gonna repaint it uh, after I do a few more things to it, but I don't know. I don't know what I'll do, but I can tell you that this area right here, you can see that it is missing the clear coat. It's all flaking and chipping off. You can see all this over here. Um, I was messing with it a little bit. So first order of business, put your rubber gloves on, put your respirator on, do your thing. However you feel it should be done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do, I'm going to show, I'm going to give you guys a demo on how you can fix clear coat failure like this with the new coating. So you can see how dull these spots are, and that is paint with no clear coat on it. So I'm going to mask up a couple of areas, probably the front, because this, this lip is the um, headlight housing. I'm gonna do this body line here and this body line here. I'm also gonna tape uh, the hood uh, and I'm gonna clear coat or coat this section with the new clear uh, coating. And we're gonna see on camera how well this stuff literally fixes clear coat failure. So. Give me a second, let me get set up. I'll bring you back for the application. All right guys, we're set up. So that section is right here. A closer. The section is uh, right down there and I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to get you straight in there just cause of the camera situation, but. All right, first order of business, tape off your workspace depending on where you've got your clear coat failure. Um, plastic razor blades are awesome. And what you want to do is you want to come in here and chip away all the clear coat that's flaking. So go in there and just do that. Just knock it back until it's not flaking off anymore. Um, what the coating is actually going to do is basically glue in all the um, outside areas of uh, the flakiness and uh, help it to not flake anymore so I've got it pretty much good now uh, there's no need to sand with this stuff uh, however you do want to get a towel um, I'm gonna use some acetone Put a little bit of acetone on the towel and you want to prep the, the uh, surface clean it up real good um, you can absolutely use rubbing alcohol, but acetone is going to remove more particles. So that's the step that you need to not forget is you want to prep this because you don't want any previous wax or sealant on the surface. Um, got the coating here and I'm going to apply it to a foam applicator got the coating on the applicator and literally 
I'm going to wet out the area just like so. Make it as even as you can. And uh, then you wait, basically. Um, this stuff does self-level. Uh, you need to give it 30 minutes between coats. So we're going to cut now, and I'll be right back in 30. We'll apply another coat. Then we'll give it a few minutes to dry, and then I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like after we've done our repair. All right, boys and girls. It's been about 30 minutes. Uh, it's ready for the second coat. And I can tell you already, and I'm not going to bring you down to see it, but I am going to show you a different application method, which I showed in a previous video. I basically explained this Dove, Dovet, whatever you want to call it, um, basically compressorless air compressor, which is, this is the compressor with the battery. This is the gun. And it comes with three different uh, cup sizes. So I have our coating here in the cup, and I'm going to do the second coat with this. The secret with this thing is just getting it wet out properly to not have the, the dry overspray. It's not what you want. So you got to just pay attention and make sure it's wet out properly and you're golden. It's looking good all right well we're pretty much done with this other than we need to give it about uh, 30 minutes to cure uh, once that's done I'm gonna bring you back and I'm gonna show it to you so be excited for the next clip all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls now the grand finale so you can absolutely still see where it was at however it is no longer going to chip, crack, or peel because it's all kinds of coated now. What I would recommend to make this look better would be a light sanding with about 3,000 grit. All you want to do is break down the edges. Now for this demonstration, I purposely did not bother doing any sanding. But if you want a solid quality job, I would highly recommend getting out that 3000 grit sandpaper. And I, I will do that to this. I wanted you, uh, I wanted this video to show how well it covers up and blends with factory clear coat. And so it looks great other than um, there's a color difference just because that's been peeling for a couple years and it was sitting outside in the sun for a while. And while it was outside in the sun, you can notice the rest of this looks amazing too. Uh, it is not cured yet by any means. Um, we do have some delamination of the clear here. Um, but you can see my line right there on the edge. So uh, it will continue to cure. Uh, it's only been about 15, 20 minutes since I um, applied it. And it looks great. Except for um, if I would have just taken some 3000 grit sandpaper and sanded those edges down instead of just knocking off the flakes or the chips whatever um it would definitely look more uniform and i will do that in a later video 
But for now, I just wanted to show you what was happening. And uh, it did a great job of preventing this thing from basically getting any worse. So, thanks for watching, guys. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. 813-846-4406 uh, is my cell. Let me know if you need me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.